Hello, what's up guys? Eman from Pesa Smart Page here and welcome sa panibagong episode. Of course, shoutout din sa mga podcast listeners. So, today, we're going to talk about what's up with the Philippine stock market. Okay, so bagong lahat, uh, na-reach natin yung 100 subscribers. So, magbibigay lang ako ng giveaway. Uh, siguro pipiliin ko yung manalo within 1 to 2 weeks. So, check out nyo lang yung video ko. Yung previous video ko para malaman nyo kung paano sumali. Yeah, halay ko lang yun sa I, sa top right nitong video. Oy, so start tayo with some news. This one is from Phil Star Global. So, yung headline sabi, Extended Lockdown pro- prompts PSE to continue shorten trading until April 13. So yeah, uh, as you all know, next end na yung um yung quarantine until April 30. So yeah, that's by the end of this month. So yung shortened uh, trading hours is from 9:30 a.m. to 1 p.m. So the Philippine Stock Exchange announced Monday the shortened trading hours will be implemented until the end of April after government extended the enhanced community quarantine in Luzon until the end of the month. So, sabi ng PSC President and CEO na si Ramon Manzon, we continuously, we continuously enjoin everyone to take the necessary precautionary measures to help the stem the spread of COVID-19. Instead of trading between 9am to 3.30pm daily, the local board has shortened market hours since March 16 to end by 1pm amid getting battered in the first few days of the Luzon lockdown, meant to control the spread of coronavirus disease 2019. With the number of infections still on the rise, uh, the lockdown has been extended until April 30. So an interagency task force managing the disease control later allowed the country's financial markets to reopen under a skeletal force. However, trading of local equities had been shortened to 4 hours from the original 7 hours. So yeah, noong nangyari to, noong nag-break ng around 2 days, nung bumalik yung market, dun natin nakita yung, uh, yung pag-plummet ng market. So umabot siya on that day, like parang 4,000 points lang yung uh, PSEI and then nag-close siya at 4, 4.3k so grabe yun sought for comment Piper Chonsertan Research Associate of uh, Phil Stocks Financial Incorporated said the shortened trading hours won't have a significant impact on the PSEI's performance but added the equity market will remain volatile in the coming weeks and will continue to take cues from US markets Optimism in Washington over the U.S. Federal Reserve's announcement of new measures to fix financial markets sent the local index rallying 1.82% to close at 5.6 thousand on Monday, Louis Simlingan of Regina Capital said in a market commentary. The broader all shares index inched up 1.45% to end at 3,380.63. So, uh, this extension of the shortened trading hours has nothing much of an effect for the trading action in the upcoming weeks, Phil Stocks Stan said in a text message. Then he added, investors are looking for cues on the possible peaking of virus and the gradual resumption of businesses. And more news, you headline it all, stocks advance further as sentiment improves, yan. Yung investor sentiment kasi is nag-improve naman. Even though, uh, yung dumadaming cases, uh, they think na uh, optimistic sila, kumbaga. So, I mean, kahit na ganito yun, para naging performance sa market, we can't really tell pa rin kung magtutuloy-tuloy ba to. We'll still have to see within the next few weeks. Kasi, niya tayo alam, mali mo, extend na naman yung lockdown, di ba? So we can't say for sure. 
The stock market rallied yesterday on optimism that the economy will continue to get a boost from the government's stimulus programs. So the benchmark uh, Philippine Stock Exchange Index ended at 5,146.05, up 165 points or 2.85%, while the broader All Shares Index rose 82.78 points or 2.38%. So most indexes were up as well led by the financials, mining and oil and property sectors. Total value turnover rich, 9.1 billion pesos. That's a lot. Market breadth was positive with 135 gainers and 66 losers, while 40 stocks were left unchanged. So, sabi no Phil Sox Financials, optimism on the country's economic stimulus programs amid the coronavirus disease 2019 continued to fuel the local market's rally. And then, si Chris Mangon of AAA Security said global equities saw mixed results today as first quarter earnings started to come in. Yan, uh, nag-play din yan ng factor kapag uh, pumasok na yung ano. Yung, yung mga records ng earnings ng income ng mga companies. Markets in the US rose sharply while European and most Asian markets ended with some losses. The sentiment was dampened by recent comments from the International Monetary Fund. The IMF said in its latest World Economic Outlook report that the world GDP is set to contract by 3% this year due to the lockdowns imposed by countries across the globe. Yesterday's rally marks the third day of consecutive gains for the PSEI. Yeah, uh, check ko rin yung uh, portfolio ko and yung stock market uh, on a daily basis pa rin. But I don't spend that much time na. Kasi yun, tumatas yung prices and uh, I think okay pa rin ang bumili. But uh, you, can you can say for sure pa rin. And then uh, Mangun said the PSEI moved in the same manner that it did yesterday. We saw heavy buying all day across the board which then allowed it to close at its high. Yeah, so marami na ulit buyers. Konti na lang. Hindi naman konti pero like okay pa rin. Marami pa rin nagsisell but hindi na tulad nun dati. Like say 3 weeks ago na lahat nagbebenta lang kasi they want you know out of the stock market na. The general sentiment continues to improve as more and more stocks rally sharply. There is some concern however that we may see a sharp increase in COVID-19 cases as the government begins mass testing yan. Ang isa pang factor yan. Um, marami na tayong cases din on a, on a record but we haven't even started mass testing. So that's a big question mark pa rin. But yeah, let's see. The main index is currently up more than 8%. We may see it uh, retreat towards the end of the week as investors secure profits. Oi, so how is the PSEI doing up currently? So yan, ito yung graph na to from trading view. So yesterday na close at 5946.05. So parang same performance na siya no mid parang first first half no March so nasa 5.9k dyan nagsisimula yung pag plummet ng sobra as you can see there parang mid March nag start yung lockdown napunta siya sa 4.3k points then yun after that tumataas siya gradually and that is sanya ulit yung 5.9k mark i think today uh, magihit tayo ng 6k or more we'll see so yeah the question is should you buy now so tingnan mo natin tong uh pin provide ng bpi trade tag nila dito is daily trading view binibigay nila to sa mga registered uh, accounts lagi nila itong binibigay uh, daily trading report to so sabi dito the PSEI gained another 2.9% yesterday on good volume so 8.5 billion market turnover 
to settle slightly below 6,000 points. This came as investors cheered stimulus measures to be implemented by the Philippine government in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We expect the index to pull back today as it hovers near the key 6,000 level. And then, yung BPI trade topics. So, top buy recommendations nila to. Uh, una dun is CNPF. Last price is at 14.44. Yung 12-month price target. Uh, that's, I think, the time that you sell. That's how it works. So, 20 pesos siya. So, yung upside is nasa 39.9%. And then, short-term technical, entry and exit. Uh, yeah, pagka naglilin towards 10 pesos, uh, pwede ka nang pumasok and then exit is 16.52. Tapos yung reasons dito is resilient demand for shelf staples. And then, um, Meg, Mega World. Actually, hindi ko alam kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng CNPF eh. Anyway, yeah, yung Meg is Mega World. Last price was 3 pesos. Then yung 12-month price target, 5.4. Upside is at 80%. Siya yung pinamutas na upside dito sa apat na to. Then yung entry is 2, exit 4. Short-term financial. Then reasons is expanding recurring income portfolio. Not entirely sure sa mega world. Kasi, di ba, ano siya? Developing developer siya. So, it's real estate. So, I'm not really sure if you should buy... Anyway, sige. Moving on uh, is RLC. Robinson Sian. Its last, its last price was 16.82. Then yung 12-month price target is 28. Then yeah, yung reasons dito is growth post-COVID-19 to be driven by new projects and ability to capture rising wealth trends. Okay. And then TEL is PLDT. Last price is at 1.170. Price target is nasa 1.5. Wow. Upside is 28.2%. And then, reason nila is recovery on track. Defensive fixed line business versus ditto. Attractive dividend yield niya. Yeah. Medyo matas yung dividend yield nila. Kahit pa paano. Okay. So, final thoughts on what's uh, happening Overall, so yeah, I, rec I recommend you to buy some of the stocks that are still currently undervalued. Actually, halos lahat naman is undervalued. Uh, lalo na yung mga halos ng alhati or uh, more than half pa. na up yung prices nila since 3 weeks, uh, 4 weeks ago. So yeah, I research nyo lang and yeah, refer na kayo sa iba kong videos dito. Marami akong na-recommend na magandang uh, stocks nagbibigyan ng dividends. Uh, okay yung yield kasi nga, medyo bababa yung prices. But yeah, uh, still uh, do your own research and yeah, practice nyo lang yung due diligence para yeah, makakuha yun ng magandang deals. And then of course, only invest money that you won't need in the foreseeable future. Yeah, syempre, yeah, like, uh, main priority is, you know, to survive, of course. Kasi, uh, hindi naman tayo lahat uh, nakapag-work uh, from home. So, yeah. Uh, don't uh, spend your emergency fund just to invest. Uh, and yeah, bumili ng sobrang murang stocks. And yeah, make sure you have at least 6 months worth of funds to sustain your lifestyle. Yeah, tama dyan yung food, yung essentials, yung utilities, utilities nyo. Uh, In-extend naman nila yung due dates. Yung sa Meralco, yung mga telcos, and yung internet nyo, yeah. But still, you should uh, have some reserve funds. Uh, just in case of emergency, and yeah. Uh, ito na emergency ngayon, nangyayari na siya. And then, uh, you can always invest in preferred stocks if you think the market is too uh, volatile and unpredictable for you. Yan. Kasi yung mga preferred stocks, hindi siya halos gumagalo yung prices. Eh. Isang example nito is yung SMC2C. Usual price point niya is nasa 75 to 77, 78 pesos. Ngayon, I think last traded price niya is 75.5. Around that. And yeah, kahit nung nag-plummet yung market, uh, last March, hindi na-affect yung ano niya, 
I think yung pinangwaba na niyang uh, nakuha ang price is 75 which is the issue price of that particular stock and then nasa 7 to 8% yung dividend yield niya every year and yung mas maganda pa dun is every quarter sila nagbibigay ng dividends so uh, that's 4 times a year so yeah uh, at least kahit pa paano diba pag kailangan mo na extra income at least every quarter na babayaran ka Okay. So, ito yung sources natin. Yung dalawang articles ng Philstar. Nakalink yan uh, sa description sa baba. Check out nyo na lang if gusto nyo basahin ng buo. Actually, binasa natin buo kanina. But, yeah, anyway. Kung gusto nyo i-check ulit, nasa baba lang yan. And, that is gonna be the end of this episode, guys. Uh, like and share nyo rin tong video if natripan nyo. And, subscribe na rin kayo and ring the notification bell. Tapos, yeah, yung giveaway natin, check out nyo lang yung video ko, previous video, para makasali kayo. Tapos, let's end with this quote from Gary Vaynerchuk. Sabi niya, there's nothing worse than putting a time limit on a goal. Yeah, uh, just work at your own pace. Dapat lang clear yung goal nyo, and yeah, dapat you're taking action on the strategies, and kung ano man yung pinlano nyo, uh, Kung ano man yung plan nyo para ma-achieve yung goal na yun. So yeah, I'll just act on it every day, every single day. Work hard and yeah. Alright guys, thanks again for watching and listening. Stay safe and stay at home muna. Ang malapit na naman matapos yung lockdown, let's see. Ilang days na lang, 2 weeks na lang. Yeah, always remember, be peso smart.